Todd, you're uh, on the board with an Ashes wicket. Um, your first Ashes test, how's it been so far, mate? Yeah, it's been good fun and um, yeah, it's obviously there's challenges that come with it and it's high stakes cricket, but yeah, to be out there and be a part of it, it's been great fun and just enjoying what I'm getting to do. Can we go back to the start? When did you actually find out you were playing going? Was it the kind of thing that as soon as Nate did his calf, you had a feeling of, I might be, might be in here? Yeah, definitely. I think the plan sort of coming over here was always... I'm here for that reason. If something happens to Nathan, then it's sort of going to be come straight in and try and play a role in that way. And I think the only thing that probably was going to stand in the way is it was a really green seeming wicket. So, um, yeah, when he went down and obviously found out the severity of it, I was pretty confident that I'd get an opportunity in this test. So, yeah, it gave me a little bit of time to prepare. I know your family had to do a mad dash. I think someone was driving from Machuca in the middle of the night to, to get to your test debut with India. Yeah. Was it as, as crazy this time for them? No, it's actually, it's worked out strangely well. They, had all, they were always planning on coming over for this test and staying for the last three anyway. So, um, they had a little, yeah, excuse to get to England and then they were sort of like, if you play, you play, if you don't, you don't. So, yeah, they end up arriving day one and then, yeah, they were here at the cricket yesterday. So it sort of all worked out and the timings have aligned nicely. Very good. Now, you've fielded a little bit on that Western Terrace uh, during this test so far. What's the funniest thing you've heard them say? Yeah, they're usually all right in the morning and then as the day goes on, they sort of grow in voice. So um, I've copped a little bit of everything out there, but... Um, I think their go-to has been years to shoot Harry Potter, so that's been the one they've been rolling with the most. Have you caught that before? <laughs> no, I haven't, but um, yeah, it didn't surprise me when it came, and there's been a fair bit of play on words with that, so no, it's all in good fun. So it took a few overs, so you know, you're getting sledged out there, it took yeah. a few overs to get the ball, does yeah. that kind of increase the nerves, how does that, you know, put your, your, how does it change your mindset when you finally get the chance with the ball? Yeah, a little bit, I think you always sort of want to try and get the game as early as you can, just to feel like you're, yeah, you're involved in it, but um, yeah, the boys are obviously bowling really well and we'll create opportunities. So um, I sort of knew that my timing wouldn't come the first night and it would have been yesterday. So, um, yeah, but it was great to finally get the ball in the hand and get in the contest and, um, yeah, see what I can do. Following to Ben Stokes and that kind of mood, I mean, that is that as hard as Test cricket get? Oh, in a way, yeah. And like, it's obviously not a massive ground and you sort of know what his plan's going to be and he's trying to hit every ball for six. So there's challenges that come with that. And sort of felt like at times there was limited options, but I think it was just about being brave and Paddy just reiterated that and just said, keep backing yourself in, mate, and you'll create a chance for us. And yeah, if one can stick, then great. And um, probably, yeah, it cost myself a little yeah. bit there with a drop catch. Um, yeah, and things would have been a bit different if I hang on to that. But um, yeah, it's, it's always good fun to get in a contest like that with a guy of that calibre. Yeah, and you know, you're holding your own and then you a couple of the, the missed chances, two and two balls. When Paddy and those guys kind of came to speak to you there, like, was that what they were saying to you? You know, just back yourself and... Yeah, pretty much, and I think they were just trying to, yeah, just make sure that I was staying level and I was confident with what I was trying to execute, which I was, and, um, yeah, Paddy's always great like that, and he just said, just keep being brave, mate, and we're backing you in here to create the chance, and it's always nice to have the captain's support there, but, um, yeah, they were, they were all really calm and just, yeah, were coming up to me and make sure everything was all good, so it was nice. And, and when, you know, that one did finally go up in the air and you, you saw it catch, I, I think I saw Mitch Stark come in and give you a big bear hug, what were the, what were the big ups there? No, nah, he just said, great work, mate, well stuck at, and, um, yeah, that's all part of it, and, that's cricket, that's off spin bowling, you're going to get hit for a few sixes, but yeah, as long as you can keep bouncing back and yeah, try and keep putting the ball in the right spot and create chances, then I think everyone's happy with that. And, and the fact you've created three chances against you know, one of the best in the world, you've got to bowl to him again in the second innings here, um, give you a lot of confidence. I think, yeah, in a way, it's probably just going to depend on the scenario of how he tries to play it, but um, yeah, it's always, it's always nice if you can create some chances, but I've just got to make sure if I do create them, I've got to try and take them off my own bowling as well to help myself. So, yeah, it's nice to be in the game and, um, yeah, so there we go. In the firing line with the bat as well in the first innings, have you faced someone bigger than Mark Wood before? Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Lance Morris might come close, but, um, yeah, it was a pretty quick spell on day one. It was, it was pretty good to watch, actually. Um, the crowd was with him and he was charging in and, um, yeah, he bowled some really quick spells. So it's always good fun. I guess the juice is going there. So, yeah, it was good. How many do you want today to uh, you know, put any Ben Stokes cool. kind of miracles to, to one side? God, as many as we can get would be great. But, um, yeah, I think it's actually really evenly balanced at the moment. And I think we've seen as the game's gone on that, um, yeah, chances have always been created. So, um, yeah, we can get a lead of 250 plus, something like that. I think, um, yeah, it gives us a really good chance of getting 10 wickets and hopefully we can, yeah, go through any luck. All the best. Thank you, mate.